So the next thing to do in Smart PLS is to set up a model and see if it works. Here we go, more on the interface. Um, what we want to do is click on this tool right here, the latent variable. You're not going to click and drag, just click it. And then while you're in this tab here, the My Awesome Project tab, or whatever your canvas is called, and if it's not there, just double click your model here and that'll show up. Um, so in this canvas, just click, and every time you click, it will create a new variable, a new latent variable, um, as many times as you click. I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to go back to the selector tool. Otherwise, every time I click, it's going to create a new variable. Um, and let me just pull in some variables here. How about skill acquisition? I can click on n number one and hold shift and click on seven and just click and drag these over to this one. And then PIT, uh, innovativeness with technology, I'll drag over to here. And efficacy, let's drag these over to this one and it automatically puts them to the left. If you want to change that, let's say I want to uh, put these ones on the right. What I could do is right click and align indicators to the right. And um, I think I can also do that through here if I have this open. If I click on this one, I can click on the bottom and they all shift down to the bottom. Now if I want to move them, I just click on the latent variable itself and I can move it. I can also move individual indicators uh, but I don't know why I'd want to just yet. Um, if you want to rename a latent variable, because those are not very good names, uh, you can right click that variable and hit rename or just click F2. So this one is called skill acquisition. This one, F2, is called um, P-I-I-T, innovativeness. In fact, I'm just called innovativeness. Innovativeness. There we go. And this one is called efficacy. C-S-E, computer self-efficacy. Now notice they're all red. In Smart PLS 3, they will all be red until they're ready to be calculated, until the model's ready to be calculated. And it can't be calculated if any latent variable is disconnected from the model or if any latent variable does not have indicators. This includes second and third order latent factors. They also need indicators and we'll talk about that in a different video. So what we need to do now is connect all these variables. Use the connector tool up here and let's see, let's make skill acquisition our dependent variable. I'm going to click on CSE and then click on skill acquisition. It's not a click and drag, it's just a click and click. So innovativeness to skill acquisition. And now everything is connected. It can turn blue. That doesn't mean you have to be done. If we think innovativeness uh, is predicted by self-efficacy, then we can connect those as well. There you go. You have a model that can be run um, and should work just fine. Just to demonstrate it, let me hit calculate and just choose any of these right now. This isn't the point of this video. I'm just going to hit start. And then I'll actually interpret all of this later. Um, but yep, it did run, and those numbers are reported there. I will go through what all this means in the next video.